that's what Schnee said. Uh, oh. I think it's time we knocked it right in the head. Oh, oh. That's what Schnee said. Not recorded in front of a live audience. Hey, everybody, and welcome to a holiday episode of That's What Schnee Said. This is where me and my brother get together to talk about old family memories and dredge up all these wonderful uh, hostilities that we've held inside for so long. So anyway, my name is Steve Schnee, and I'd like to introduce my brother, Mike Schnee. Hey, Mike, welcome to the That's What Schnee Said holiday special. How you doing, guys? Hello. Anyway, um, Mike, when you really think about it, what is your favorite Christmas memory? Um, probably my first Christmas. I remember out of the at Gaga's house. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> sorry, guys, I forgot. Oh, I remember, I remember <laughs> going outside at Gaga's house and what? Pooping. This is my no. my sister, Christian. Christian Schnee. Yeah, I'm Chris not Christian. I'm Kristin. I'm okay. Kristin with a yes. K R I S T I N. Below me is my older sister, Christian. And over here no. is my younger sister, Dana. <clears throat> anyway, welcome to the That's What Schnee said Christmas special uh, with my brother, Mike Schnee, and co starring my sisters, Kristen Schnee and Dana Schnee. Ah. Oh, I gotta be quiet. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Teresa. Hi, hey, Teresa. Merry Christmas. Oh, I love your earrings. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, you guys, Steven, do you guys know Teresa? Here's my question. So, what's your favorite meal that we had Christmas? Breakfast at Dana's. Yeah, yeah. It, well, we uh, used to have Christmas brunch at dad was in charge of it yeah, yeah. but it was at dana's yeah. that was my favorite thing to look forward to on christmas because there was i mean christmas is fucked because your presents are already open you're screwed they stop playing christmas music on the radio everyone starts acting like a dick again so the only thing to look forward to is breakfast at dana's i mean <laughs> well, back try then. having your birthday on around <laughs> that time oh hi happy birthday oh but you you're forgotten at christmas time <laughs> no, okay, okay, Chris. Okay, Kristen, you didn't have to deal with that bullshit. You, Dad had to deal with that bullshit. Totally, yeah. he did. <laughs> That's he true. did. Oh, God bless him. Yeah. Now, Mom always made it special for him, though. Yeah, she did. Yeah. We always right, had his I birthday just separate. To say hi and Merry Christmas. I'll Merry what? Christmas. Teresa, Teresa. Merry Christmas. No, you guys know Teresa, right? Who doesn't know <laughs> Teresa? Uh, She's your better half. Or okay, guys. Food. Does it work or not? I just got this in the mail today. It actually has speakers in it. I so like it. Yeah, I think yeah. it looks good. But but does the does the beanie just look like make me look more like an idiot? No. Well, you look well. You start by looking like an idiot. So I know, I know. But is this? It doesn't is make this, you look more. It doesn't make you look more like an idiot. No. So this no. doesn't accent the idiocity. No. Um. <laughs> uh no well no. <laughs> um, who's that who's your who's your friend steve I and this is to your friend i <laughs> what's up baby <laughs> hello you, you, you can hear them right yeah okay yeah and and okay say something to them and, and see if they can hear you through the mic hi merry christmas you guys one more time one, one more time <laughs> Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? She's actually the first person that saw me with this. And since she didn't say it looks stupid, uh, I'm going to wear it everywhere. <laughs> well, they come in handy when it's cold. Yeah. You see, I usually do this, right? Oh, yeah. I used to hear like, and yeah, so, me too. And I so, wear glasses, so I can't, I don't like wearing half these glasses. Kristen, I'm talking. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm sorry, Kristen. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Hey, you know what? I have the best. Jamie's leaving. Introduce Hi, us Jamie. to your friend, Stephen. Uh, what was that? Introduce us to your friend. That's Jamie. Oh, Jimmy. J yeah, Jimmy's leaving. <laughs> Bye, Jimmy. This is the favorite holiday drink now. Oh, what it's is it? The, it's the Grinch. I've been making it for a couple of years now. Um, Dottie and I found it. And Are you almost done? I, I want to talk about something. 
hush. <laughs> so it's peach schnapps, rum, the blue Caracio, Car yeah. Caraco, uh -huh. um, orange peach juice, snot. and Seven Up. <laughs> wow, that sounds good. I and it's green. I, see, I may have tasted it before, right? Have I? Uh, I. No, you talk about it. You've talked no, about it's it. It's only been during COVID, but yeah, I because I made it and I posted it. Last yeah, you've year. talked about it during COVID. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that does sound good. Kristen, Kristen, your dog has a very cute asshole. <laughs> Mike, Mike, change that to very cute ass because I can't edit out asshole. <laughs> you know, I love watching those things on um, on YouTube. Uh, that are like the dodo or whatever, where it's like, you know, oh, a bunch of animal rescues and stuff. There was one that I was watching today that they did a close up on a dog's private part. Oh, that's not And good. it was like disgusting. And then during it, they were <laughs> doing the secreting the anal glands. And I'm literally, oh. I'm literally looking at the camera blocking <laughs> like yeah. that, just going, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> that reminded me why I didn't want a dog. Because I thought, oh God, I don't want to be involved in anal secreting. <laughs> I got no, enough problems of my own. <laughs> I, I, I get, off, I get off on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks good. Is it? It's, it's good. Are you feeling tipsy yet? No. Oh. That's because you're not drinking a martini. Oh, All right. what are you drinking, Michael? What kind what? of martini? Well, it's a, it's a um, recipe from a place in Culver City called father's office but what it is is um two parts gin one part lillet which is sort of like a fancy wine oh and uh, some no is it a fancy wine or is it a fancy wine, <laughs> <laughs> wine. and then it's got some shots of bitter and of course this is dirty and then some olives and all that oh that sounds that's delightful. that's our go-to martini recipe but it's um, it's similar to, um, James Bond's, um, Vesper martini in uh, Casino Royale, where he has, uh, there's Lillet, there's gin, of course. Which Casino uh, Royale? The, the good one. Oh, the one with Peter Sellers and no, David Niven? The good one. Oh, okay. Mm, that sounds good, Michael. I am actually, believe it or not, drinking beer. You are? You guys, uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Beer, beer. If, beer. If you got, yeah. <laughs> yeah Remember still the southern to this comfort? day i don't drink I... what southern comfort uh you don't like southern comfort oh my god there was a time back in it the was... days of dj god it was a, yes it was a southern comfort old-fashioned yes yes okay and the last time i had southern comfort it was actually filmed me and jerry were hanging out i was living with joel and i had uh, we were recording some crazy shit and we're just drinking this Southern Comfort Old Fashions. Very tasty. Yeah. And then I got the dizzies. Uh oh. He's he's filming this. And he, he go like this. I go like this. I go boom. And uh then I bounce up and turn around and walk back to the bathroom, which is in the room, and started puking in, in the uh <laughs> the toilet. But that I mean, that was probably the last time I puked on booze, but I mean, and this is 1990 six or seven or something like that i'm but, totally sitting here i don't feel bad for you all i'm thinking about right now is god i want to see that video I <laughs> oh, know, I it's know. somewhere it's somewhere hi <laughs> oh hey hey hey, bill you may not want to be in this because this is going to be on youtube uh chris oh, okay well let, well let me disrobe oh no <laughs> don't show your butt cheeks Kristen, yeah, introduce, introduce us to your friend who's your friend yeah oh, introduce okay. Introduce us to your friend right there. Bill, right? This is my husband, Bill. Say hi. Hi. Hi, Dottie. Remember, oh, this is going on Dottie. YouTube. Wait, Bill's going to come in. Let Dottie meet Bill. Oh, Bill. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bill, Dottie knows a lot about you. Oh, in fact, goodness. I was here when Kristen told us. For our okay, viewers, Dottie, Dottie is, is one of my sister's Bill. friends. Hey, Dottie, uh, how Kristen's are you? Kristen's husband. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Glad that you feel Happy better. Happy holidays. Yeah, thank you. Uh oh, there he goes. Little there little goes Stephen again. I know. <laughs> Thumbnail. 
And the holidays Ooh, keep ringing. Hey, this is cool. Ringing. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Have another Grinch. I know. Have another Grinch. Yeah, yeah. I was just say that's cool when you've had a Grinch. Not cool when you haven't. <laughs> that's true. No, it's still cool when you are sober. It's good. Yeah, but Kristen, you're not sober. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's I, I am though. I am. I can attest. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, <laughs> but you know, since this is Christmas, first Christmas uh Christmas family memory, and forget the uh, the the husbands, wives, grandkids, think about us as kids, or you know, up until Dana got kicked out of the house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna start with Dana first, and then we're gonna go to Kristen. Then we're gonna go to okay. Michael. Dana no, I'm was the, the last. first. I'm the last. Okay, Dana, what's the first Schnee family Christmas you remember? Apart from when you were pulling Kristen on a, on a rope and she fell and she spit her chin open. Apart from that Holy, part. Look at that. I have a I have a scar right here. I'm sorry about that. We were yeah, we didn't find horse <laughs> you. We were My playing sister. reindeer. I don't know. Yeah. I, no, no. I don't even think it happened at Christmas time, but I wanted to bring it up to make you feel guilty because it took you like 30 years to finally admit to everybody uh, outside <laughs> oh, of you too. I denied it forever. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> yeah. Why is I remember rope elephants person? were puppy elephants on my shirt that day, but I forgive you, Dana. It's okay. You, okay. I just remember do tons you, of blood. Do it was you like remember a hammer film. When, when I picked you up from preschool on my bike and yep. you would ride on the handlebars and I'd bring you home from preschool. I don't remember that, but I remember the um the Volkswagen bug, the guy who tried Ted to Ted Bundy us up. was gonna get us. I think it was Ted Bundy. Uh that was Ted Bundy. We and survived I saved Ted you. Bundy. Yeah. I picked you up and I was dragging you. I forgot to tell everybody in our um in our viewing audience that both Kristen and Dana live in a clock. Cuckoo. <laughs> the only way to live now only way yeah, to live. i know um, so Christmas. my early my memories always are at uh Fondren, i think my earliest oh. memories um so i remember because we all shared a room me and the two boys shared a room and i remember just laying there and we swore we could hear the reindeers and the jingle bells and then i remember we had to wait until dad got back from the his paper route mm -hmm. and we would be at the top of the landing oh, waiting yeah. for dad to get home yeah how absolutely bizarre that memory has not been in my head until you said that and remember yeah. when we all shared the room and we cleaned it really really well and um because dad was angry that we we had a messy room and so he came in and we told him that mom had cleaned it Where's the rat? and we didn't do it and uh, uh yes. oh my god i remember this yeah and dad was gonna get really mad at us and start spanking us because we didn't do it and we go no 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 we did it we did it we were just no, kidding it was, it was more of a it was it was more of a, a bigger deal than that than how you're saying because it was a thing where he kind of lined us all up there and in my mind i thought yeah, yeah. to myself i don't know about at the time or in hindsight mom must have told him they did it. They're doing a trick on you and all that. So let's yeah. make a, let's do a thing where we're going to line them up and start spanking them, you know, and we'll, we'll find out. I think that, I think that that's what really happened. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, totally. I mean, that's what I've always felt happened. You know, we never discussed it with them afterwards. I think you're the only one who liked to be spanked, Mike. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I was the one that got, I was getting no, 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 spanked all no, the time. No, Michael was the one who liked to be spanked. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, but I wouldn't agree to that, Dana, not on, dad not on YouTube. Get, he would oh. come and he would threaten that he was going to spank me and I was I would lay there and laugh at him. Yeah, but you were a shitty back then. You were a, you were. <laughs> I'm still <clears throat> shitty. I'll bring this it back. Is, my boys this are, is, hold on. Okay, this is Wait, nothing. A, pardon me. This is nothing. A, well, Chris wasn't even born then, so let's still talk about it. Um, this, <laughs> this is nothing against dad. You were a troublemaker. Joe I don't maker. remember that. You were. I mean, re I, remember in her teenage the, years. Yeah, I don't, no, that's what I'm talking about. No, not in the kid years. Uh, uh, no, no, she was. Just, I don't even remember her being a troublemaker. I just remember her always being in trouble. I didn't know <laughs> yeah. why. I didn't know. I didn't see anything. No, neither did I. Yet. But I remember her and and Lori being totally drunk, 
Oh, and I remember that. Show, yeah. But, oh, what, yeah, yeah, but yeah, this yeah, was, yeah, yeah. This was in the teen years. But going back to that time that Dana's talking about when we all shared the room, we were what, four or five years old, something like that? Yeah, because I, mean, yeah, I was in third grade when Man, uh, Amanda, um, Kristen was born. Okay, so yeah. Here's, yeah. here's a great memory. And see if you guys remember this. Same room, same, same uh, uh, living arrangement. We would listen to the Snow White record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick yeah. to Snow White. And every time oh, in yeah. the song when Sneezy was going to do the, <laughs> yeah. we'd run and hide in our room yeah. to avoid him with a big sneeze, just like they did in the uh, cartoon. In the oh, I remember that. Yeah, we would go and we, and we would run and hide. And I don't, that has totally stuck with me. Um, we used to that, always play the um, Wizard of Oz soundtrack as well. Yes. To where every time I see the movie and, and, and parts of the movie song wise that are not on the album are always still kind of new to me. Or they're always sort of different. I always think, oh, this is not on the album. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, and, yeah. And, and also one other thing very important is at the end, it's on the record. I would like to get a copy of this record, uh, but it would. I have a CD. Not, it will not skip in the same point I wanted to skip because it was Dorothy going. I bet you there's nothing in that black bag for me. Bag for me. Bag for me. <laughs> bag for me. I remember bag that. For me. Yes. Yes. You, you know another thing yeah. is um, is when when. Uh, uh, when we were older and we were living on Jane, both of our sisters are gone. Let's talk bad about them. This is going what? on YouTube. What? Oh crap. She's back. Do you remember in the Jane house though, that little, um, little tiny dog, that dog house thing that yes. I used to crawl into? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, okay. that's, it was claustrophobic back then and it smelled like this dog. It was a weird yeah, I don't thing. I remember that. Well, here's, yeah, in the, here's in the garage of the Jane house. Here's what I remembered about um, about the Jane House. Um, going back to that skipping record part, um, Michael and I were were we had our own room at the back, and one day, um, uh, Hard Day's Night was playing on TV. We taped uh, Hard Day's Night on, on our little handheld cassette recorder, you know, with the microphone, uh, Cheers, you know, Dana. up to the TV. Cheers. Cheers. Um, Sorry, Steven. So, so anyway, but we had to go to bed at a certain time every night. So we set the timer, you know, you know, mom and dad are like, okay, you guys can be o o only up for another hour. So you set the timer, put the timer <laughs> an up on the ti an egg timer. Yeah, an egg <laughs> timer. And um, during, uh, if I fell. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, you know. Because uh, uh, I couldn't stand the and pain. I, uh, yeah, because I couldn't stand the pain. And then the timer yeah so it was a so in my head or i mean on tape it said but i couldn't stand the pain ding and i would be <laughs> I, so here it is 45 years later every time i hear if i fell i still hear that egg timer ding. i do too oh, yeah. i do too i do too i remember that little rec that little tape recorder we had yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, that's the one where we where we used to do. I'm not even talk about the stuff. Yeah, okay, I'll talk about it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, I usually don't talk about this stuff, but <laughs> we had a tape, a special tape set aside, <laughs> where <laughs> every time we had to fart, we had that tape out, put it in, <laughs> and then hit record, right? <laughs> So then, you know, we'd go back and we'd play the, the tape. We'd play like the, yeah, like the good. three minutes of farts, right? It was a mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> it was a playlist. <laughs> so anyway, um, so, so, so we went and uh, we, we'd play the part, we cut off, and we'd put the tape aside. The next time we'd ha have to do it, we'd put it in there and play it. So then suddenly... Dana found out about it. Dana found out about the fart tape and had to tell dad, right? <laughs> so, yeah, probably was so, chuckling to himself. Dana, so, why did you tell dad? So we went, you know, we found out that Dana was going to tell dad. So we had to go record over it. Right, went all the way back to the beginning and hit record <laughs> and funny. recorded blank and got rid of like 
a year's worth of splendor, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> and then Almost. we're acting like, no, we don't do that. Here's the tape. And we press play. And dad goes, you guys better admit it, you know, because they do make machines that, you know, when you put the tape in, it'll uh, allow you to hear <laughs> what, was, what was on the tape before. <laughs> I don't remember any no, of that. dummy. Oh my god. <laughs> so that was uh oh my god. So yeah, we got in trouble. We had to admit it. I mean, but does anybody know when you pee in a pool, is there something that turns the pee purple? Because that's one of the things I still think about that. I still think about that. No, that's no. not that's not that that may or may not be true, but that is something that a lot of people I found out throughout the years have their parents have done too so it may have been like the thing to say whether or not it's true but yeah, yeah i may have a friend you should ask who, chuck reddick because chuck reddick's a pool guy i have oh, a friend yeah. who has, i have a friend who has a friend who has a friend who had like a pool party and they were all drinking and stuff and they didn't go to the bathroom and they peed in the pool so um, from what i heard it from, a friend, from a friend from a friend from a friend yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, it's That's a special a thing you put in your pool, though. You got to put that special chemical in. Oh, there. you do. Yeah. It, it depends on the pool you're in. Well, that, I know yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, if there is something you can put in there, or is that like an old wives' tale? I think it's anybody an who's watching tale. this video on YouTube, please let no, us know in the comments I below. I've, I think I've actually looked it up and, and found out that. Dottie says there is a thing you can put in the pool that'll show yeah. that you peed in the pool. All right. Well, see, Chris, Chris Dottie actually the seems who, like the most reasonable of the five of us. Yeah. So I won't bet her money right now, but. <laughs> well, I, I think there's going to be some research going on here. I think there is. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Next memory, Michael. I don't have a, a first memory. I do have definite memories of. Um, yeah, it's not a first memory. It's just like one of the first, it, it, it's not your first oh, memory, Chris, but it's one of the first things that pops into your head. Well, it would definitely be um, walking down the stairway at Fondren with the stereo, the Motorola stereo playing Glenn Campbell and oh. saying happy birthday to dad. I forgot what we got, but, but at the Fondren, I know that I got a lot of hand-me-down Beatle albums and, and, and Chris, Beatles. You're annoying. <laughs> right. Trying to figure it out. Continue, Go ahead, Mike. Michael. Um, Fondren, so, yeah. Well, Fondren, we had, everything was like, our tree was divided into threes. And then with Kristen, it was divided into four, and then it extended. It used to be like where it was just around the tree, but when we got more and more, we got older, maybe think, toys got bigger. We obviously had Kristen. So it went along the wall next to the tree as well. Yes, yes. 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 That's what I remember. Usually one of us had, I don't think I ever had that separate along the wall batch. I did one year because uh, Gaga made me um, out of like the banker boxes, I think made me a barbie condo oh i know actually oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, that? no, no, no. that's that's totally iconic i totally remember that yeah that's and our, and our volcano got, our hot wheels or hot wheels volcano <laughs> yes, that that, yes. Out of paper mache. yes that was the same year but dana had this thing it was you can kind of oh, like it was here. like four or it was like three or four <laughs> blocks that you can kind of configure any way you want yeah but it was like that Jerry Lewis movie where the ladies man, where they had like, they filmed it with the walls are gone, but this was the, with the ceiling gone. Right. Yeah. 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 But I, I mean, how they got those presents home. Remember we would have to get back in the station wagon and they would, yeah. they must have hid them all in there. That's crazy. Yeah. Thinking about it now. And but then, we wouldn't look, we wouldn't peek. No. But we, we, I mean, think about though, I mean, one of my favorite gifts during Christmas was that volcano mountain for mm -hmm. our things. And that was fucking a thing that Gaga probably made in 10 minutes or something, or, or maybe not. Maybe she spent some time on it, but yeah, it was, yeah. Like, it was like the best thing in the world. And we knew it was like, not, not what you buy at the stores, but it was like just. Yeah, we knew, we knew Gaga, which is what we called grandma. Uh, when we were kids has nothing to do with the world famous superstar lady gaga who has won several grammy well, awards yeah it doesn't 
Is it um, Lady Gaga related to Gaga? I, I, I want to put down on oh, record that Kristen fine. usually uh, becomes totally uninterested in Schnee family oh. gatherings no, uh, after 60 you. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that with with um, uh, Kristen said she wanted to go last, so I'm going to talk. Michael brought up the whole thing about music. Uh, you know, music has always been, as you guys know, important to all of us. Um, maybe more so Michael and me than the oh. other two. You know, both said so. Oh, um, no. <laughs> both said so. <laughs> um, but uh, I distinctly remember things the, every morning when we'd come out and open christmas presents mm. it was always the glenn campbell christmas album oh, yeah. then yep. you know the followed by lit. everything yeah. had to be perfect they wouldn't let us come down the stairs until yep. everything or, the music was or on, even down the hall everything. depending on where we were living yeah you know? yeah yep. but yeah and everything uh and it was always glenn campbell always glenn campbell christmas which is why it's my favorite christmas album i remember yeah. her playing ray conniff uh, I remember, you know, listening and reading along to Mitch Miller uh, and, you know, New Christy. I Mitch remember Miller. Mitch Miller a lot, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Who's got a hot wife? Ho, ho, ho. Got a gun. You know, the thing that I was talking about. Did you know that Must Be Santa is not a common Christmas song? Yeah, isn't that weird? I thought it was. Yeah. I it was too. It does. It's not. Teresa's I know a lot heard. of people who've never heard. Yeah. I know a lot of people who've never oh, heard Must Be Santa. Okay. I think, well, they were probably the only ones who did it, maybe. No, I've asked other people and they just don't know it. I thought it was a very common song, as common as any other one. Yeah, me too. I but, did too, because that's what we grew up with. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. I mean, remember to us, Oh Babe, What Would You Say by Hurricane Smith was a number one single. It actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, a lot of people. Just don't know that, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, my, my distinct memory about uh, uh, anything related to i told you she was totally uninterested in anything that we're doing i'm listening i'm just shut up flicker <laughs> um uh was uh christmas of, um in fact i've told the story i think i told it on on the last ski lodge christmas 1980 michael had driven dana's moped to tower oh. and picked up the jam sound effects because i wanted that because it was an import only okay. at the time and rodney and the rock had been playing it and I bought and, McCartney Talks, that album, that same day. Oh, that right, right, right. Um, and this was shortly after John Lennon died, I think. Um, no, hold on. This was... It was December 1980. This was December 8th, 1980. I, th there's a lot that happened that day. And one of which was me getting the sound effects, me getting the McCartney Talks, us getting home, us going to Savons and getting that um, Savons and getting that, that uh, Super 8 thing I that we filmed with me, time. you, Rickenfeld in the front lawn. I had a guitar. I was doing a stupid McCartney type of yes, thing. Yes, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Tire. And in the garage. Yeah. And I, and, yeah, uh huh. And so we got that. We looked at that and watched that. They relay everything. Either that or we filmed. I think we, 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 and then we went to Disneyland that night. Yeah. And, and it was John like, was killed. It was Mormon night at Disneyland, yeah. and I was told not to order anything with caffeine uh, because, you know, because because of the Mormon religion. And um, so I had, so I think I drank like, um, you know, whatever orange, crush or, yeah. What yeah. was it? Mormon Day at Disneyland. Yeah, it was yeah, that. Heard of that. It, it was like Mormon night. So like, you know, they closed the park at six and they reopened it at eight or something Back like that. Back then was a different time. There's yeah. no way that they can afford that now. No, yeah. absolutely not. And and I'm not dissing it at all. I'm just making uh, making the point that I remember that specifically because then we walked out and we heard that John Lennon had been shot or dead, right? But what I heard, John Lennon dead with his wife, Yoko, right? So the first thing in my head I wasn't thinking Yoko was dead. I was thinking Yoko shot him because, you yeah. know, for years, people were always talking about uh, how she broke up the Beatles and she's bad. Uh, so I'm hearing on the radio that uh, in my mind, John Lennon was shot by Yoko Ono. Yeah. And by the time too. we got that home, just for a couple of minutes. That's just yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But I remember that. Me too. Yeah. Because I think like right after, just a second, Kristen. Okay. <laughs> oh, now, oh, oh, hang now on, she's paying attention. Kristen, hang on. All right. Now she's paying attention. Um, no, I have nothing to say. Just you, you're more interesting. So carry on and I'll 
So, I wouldn't go that far, Kristen. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far either. But yeah, okay, go ahead, Kristen. You've totally spoiled it. So oh, tell us no, about you. No, go, keep going, keep going. No, because what you're saying is more important than what I have to say. So keep no, go going. ahead. I'm done. No, Don't you go. Yourself, no, no, you bum my flow. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, Kristen, I think what you might have to say might be more interesting. I would think so. No, it wouldn't be. So yeah, shame on me for interrupting you. So I remember it was How much 1980. Did she have to drink? What? Go ahead. Uh, you mean uh, December 1980? I was 10, unless it was, oh, it was before I was 11. So I was 10. I remember that it was a big deal in our family that John Lennon passed away because our yeah. family, because of you guys, whatever. Mm -hmm. I was in the room with mom. And she got a phone call and she had, I guess, had gotten so many calls already. And she goes, yes, I know he's already, he's dead. Like she would pick <laughs> up the phone and say, yes, I know. And I will never, ever, ever forget that. Like people that is so weird. House. Now, but mom and dad weren't really big into the Beatles. Was, was it for me and Michael? Yeah, we it was like, probably for you and Michael. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I'll never forget that. Why would I even think that? She answered the phone. I have a vision in the bedroom and I have dreams about mom and dad's bedroom. And she goes, yes, I know he's dead. Like she answered the phone. Yes, I know. Ah, that's so weird. That, see, that's great. Cause that leads into just real fast. What I wanted to say is December, 1980, Michael had gone and got the albums and everything. Um, so I would come home from school and usually Kristen was home. But maybe she had gone out to play with with Sherry or something. Um, so we came home and nobody was home yet. Mom wasn't home. You guys weren't home. I went straight to mom and dad's closet. And remember, they used to package the LPs, you know, when they would wrap them for us. They were in those like things that were almost like big envelopes uh, that, you know, you just lift the tab, slide the album in and then close it and then take the tab post. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty good though that Did was you good fart? i thought you were frozen um okay now yeah it looks like it's getting unstable here so uh i don't know why that would be anyway so i'd go into the closet uh, i would go in the closet and i would look at all open all the albums no that's for Kristen. no that's for dana no that oh and then i remember getting the jam sound effects and i looked at it for like half hour then i heard like somebody come in i closed it taped it up uh and then oh my god mind. you're yeah. terrible wait I, know. I snuck too i snuck i remember i have visions of sneaking in mom's closet and checking and sneaking up gifts i never did you both are going to hell yeah you're going to hell i never <laughs> snuck either i never snuck okay <laughs> tell me how hell's like okay I'll, I'll probably be there for but i'll go to another oh michael i'm living hell so i can tell you <laughs> <laughs> i think we all well, in uh in order to wrap this up for the viewers and stuff like that uh um, just real fast uh the important thing with the well obviously for three of the schnees not for Kristen. um <laughs> the important what? thing has always been family um we have the absolute most amazing yeah, family we're doing joke stuff no. Mo most of us pay attention um but uh, but we have an amazing extended family. Family has been super important. Uh, it would be terrible not to acknowledge what grandma and grandpa, uh, what what uh, cousin Michael, what mom and dad, what Aunt Colleen, uh, what, what uh, you know, these are the people that have or, or these are our loved ones that have passed. Every member of this family, you know, extended, uh, you know, especially on mom's side, the cooks, the blanket chips. It's been so important in the way that we interact with each other, the way that we uh, 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 love each other, the way that, uh, you know, our family has never been, you know, we're, we're, we're almost colorblind. My dad was literally colorblind. I don't remember mom and dad ever teaching us that black people were different, that Mexicans were different, never anything like that. We grew up everything. It's like, we loved, you know, our neighbors and 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 stuff so so we never had to deal with that we were lucky and we were lucky yeah, that we, we were grew lucky. up we grew up in a household that didn't make a lot of money um or sex but, yeah 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 exactly <laughs> but a lots of humor we would yeah 
we wait, would have macaroni. Sense of humor, but wait, what? Yeah, but some of us and don't pay fun. attention as much as the others do. Um, but we would have <laughs> macro. We would have <laughs> macaroni. Oh we would have macaroni and cheese and fish sticks for dinner, right? And we thought, hey, and this ramen. is awesome. Yeah. Ramen. Dad would make batches of ramen for dinner too. No, not not for us. Anyway, not um, in our day. Yeah, not in our day. Christine. Yes, he did. I remember ramen. Yeah, probably. Well, maybe because we had grown up and moved away and you were still there. Um, no, uh uh-uh. uh. I don't remember ramen. I don't remember Remember Ronald. Meatloaf. Dad made good meatloaf. Oh. Dad did make. I hated it. Michael loves spam. We had oatmeal and toast for dinner, and we did not know it was because we didn't have food. Oh, it was good. Mm. Do you remember that? Do you remember having um, cream tuna? Cream tuna? Oh, yeah. Mom would make the cream tuna. I was on that dinner. And pour it on toast. Uh, We thought that was awesome. Yep. We thought TV dinners was awesome. We thought um, macaroni and cheese was awesome. The, one of the biggest, greatest things was occasionally dad would take us out to McDonald's yeah. or, he'd, or he'd pick up McDonald's on the way home and it'd be super exciting. I mean, now everyone takes that for granted. But back then we had no idea that we were living in a house that was sometimes financially struggling um, because mom and dad made sure that we didn't deal with that. We did, you know, sometimes when they go in their room and have their private talks, and we know their talks because sometimes the voices were raised, or maybe, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> um, but they tried, the they they tried to keep about. it away from us, yeah. But I yeah, it, thought, every time they argued, I, I there the door was closed, and I thought, oh my God, are they arguing about me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they probably were. Um, but uh, I think that's the greatest thing is is it's always been family first love first and that's why i do the things that i do that's why dana does the things that she does that's why kristen doesn't pay attention that's why michael does the same fuck you fuck for fuck you fine over the line shut up that's she's why our, i do she's everything our baby they do. sister she's our baby sister yeah she's our baby sister so uh since, since i well okay here's another funny thing before we wrap up for years the joke i would always make fun of the fact you know in front of mom and dad like oh kristen was the accident right because she was born six years after i was i was born october 63 kristen was born in uh december 1969 and i would keep talking about you know, every now and then, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, well, Chris, the accident, right? It's always, you know, a little funny, huh? And then finally, just a few years, I think, before dad passed away, maybe a few years before he was diagnosed with cancer, he said, Stephen, you were born 11 months after your brother. Who's the accident? <laughs> that was so, good, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and that's true. So, but um, uh, we all were uh, we were all good accidents. We were all good blessings. I I don't I'm not too sure about me, yeah. but no. But I'm the one with the Zoom account, so we'll assume that I am. That's right. You're the <laughs> yeah. We're all kooky and uh, yeah. and together, man. Yeah, um, that's right. I love but, you. I love Wait. you. I love Wait. you. I love you, Stephen. I love, I love all of you, Michael. I love, I love you. I love all of you. Dana. Uh, I wanted to, to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. We do still have the greatest family ever. Um, oh, we, do. we do. The Brady's or the Osmonds were good. No, we're well, still, did, we, we're above that. Okay. Yeah, well, no, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think. Who, who is, okay, I know Dana's the bitch in the Schnee family. Who is the bitch in the Brady Bunch? <laughs> Greg? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that is it for the. Wait, that's wait, what. She, wait, 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 here's my thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it for the. That's what Schnee said. Holiday special right here on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to thank you all for watching and wish everybody a Merry Christmas from myself, Steve, my sister, Dana, my sister, Kristen, and. My brother, Mike. (laughs) Happy holidays, everybody. We'll see y'all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
We say Merry Christmas in our house. That's it for this episode. My brother Mike and I, thank you for coming. That's what Schnee said. Oh. I think it's time we knocked it right in the head. Oh, oh. That's what Schnee said. Not recorded in front of a live audience.